is 32 right now and we are continuing to follow breaking news from overnight where a deadly accident has shut down part of I-75. Yeah, so let's head back to 7 Action News reporter Nima Shafe. You've been at the scene now, Nima, for over an hour. What can you tell us? We've seen a number of emergency responders, Vic, in about the last uh, five or so minutes leave the scene, which could be an indication that the Monroe County Sheriff's deputies, who are the investigative agency, don't no longer need their help. Let's take a look at this video. They're shot in the last about 10 minutes, and this is video to not be confusing or sound confusing, looking southward at the northbound lanes. Again, this is video in, in just the last five minutes looking southward at the northbound lanes to give you an indication as to just how backed up the traffic is coming northbound on I-75. This accident happened just before 4 o'clock this morning. The Monroe County Sheriff's deputies are the responding agency and in turn the investigative agency. This happening on an area that straddles the border of Wayne County and Monroe County. In fact, if I walk about 1,000 feet, I will be in Wayne County. That's how close we are to the border. But this morning, again, Again, I-75 shut down as a result of a deadly accident. One person we know is confirmed dead. We are trying to still piece together more information, but again, we are working with the Monroe County Sheriff's deputies to get more information. And once we get that information, we'll pass it along to you. But for now, what we do know is that traffic along the northbound lanes of I-75 is being pushed off at South Huron River Road and is then being allowed back on north of the accident site on Gibraltar Road. So again, if you have any questions about your morning commute, stay tuned because I know that Rachel is in our 7 First Solar Traffic Center trying to work out all those details for you as I know our Joel Alexander is in the sky working to get you pictures of that as well. So we will remain here on the scene throughout the morning and bring you the very latest details. But for now, we're live in Monroe County. I'm Nima Shafe, 7 Action News. Back to you.